Okay guys, welcome to this very special video where I'm going to be showing you something completely new that I don't think anyone has ever shown on YouTube. This is the Claude Clo Code Workflow that automates NA10. Simply clone the repo, edit your Bright Data API key, and tell it what you want. Let's dive into it. Now this works off the same repo if you're not familiar with the Claude Code Agents repo that I have. This is the Claude Code Agents wizard. Basically, all you do is you grab this repo link, right? You do git clone and then paste, and then just put a little full stop right here. I'm gonna try and keep this as user-friendly as possible, guys. From here, you basically have to edit your Bright Data API key. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do that quickly. So actually, first of all, we have to get, do git checkout and then NA10 automator like that. Perfect. So press enter, there we go. Now we're on the N8N automator branch. Okay, so from there, basically you open the folder that you've just created and open this mcp.json. All you have to do is put your bright data API key right here. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so just to show you guys what this looks like, I've just deleted some of the characters from my API key. So it's token equals and then your API key, and then you make sure that the double quotes is right here. Then make sure you hit Control S or Command S if you're on Mac in order to save. Now, if we come back here, we can do Claude, and this should pop up with an MCP warning. So we can say yes. And then if we do slash MCP, we should say see that this is connected. Perfect. So we don't actually have to do anything here. You can just say create me an NA10 workflow that does, and then just whatever you want it to do. Okay, so let's just say extract um interesting new developments in ai from hacker news and then uses ai to summarize them and then write an article uh, about the topic or let's just say a yeah an article about the topic right so you can be fairly vague with your description and i'm going to enter here i'm going to watch this entire thing unfold the next thing i'm going to do actually i'm just going to quit out and put dangerously skip permissions dash c like that and then just say continue here and then what this is going to do is it's going to use a predefined workflow that i have predefined right and it's going to create an entire json for you without you touching anything right now this is using bright data this is why you need the bright data api key this is using bright data to actually scrape the documentation of na10 right because we don't want to just be guessing and, you know, whatever. We want to be really, really, really secure in what we're doing. And we want to give Claude Code all of the information it actually needs to achieve the task that we have given it. So you see, it's doing all of these different scrapes. It's scraping Langchain. It's scraping node base, et cetera, et cetera. It's just scraped a load of information there. And now what it's going to do is it's going to update the to-dos and create the complete workflow JSON. Now this is just a very basic example of what this can do. You can go as far as you want with this. You can do whatever you want with this, right? And this is your best chance of actually automating a lot of this process, right? And not just automating. I've found that getting AI to write AI prompts is significantly better than us trying to write AI prompts. So for example, as you just saw there, I mean, look at, look at how detailed this is. As you saw there, it decided to use Langchain, right? You might not have known to use Langchain if you had done this yourselves, right? So this is where it starts to get super, super interesting. So there we go. There is the entire JSON. Now we can put this into our NA10. Just a quick break for a word from our sponsor, hosting it. If you're using NA10, you should really be self-hosting it because that's where you get unlimited workflows, full control, and way more power than the hosted version. And the easiest way as of today to self-host NA10 is hosting it. They've built a dedicated self-hosted NA10 landing page, and the setup takes literally one click. If you head on over to hostinger.com slash income stream surfers, and then you can see this plan right here, the KVM2. This is the exact setup that I am using. It's the perfect balance of performance and price 
for running NA10. And as you can see right here, it's $5.99 a month when you order for two years. So once you click on choose your plan, you can start to see the real power of this system. You can see that it actually comes with NA10 pre-installed. You don't even need to worry about installing NA10. So if I just press continue here, or even better, you can press have a coupon code and you can write surfers right here to get a huge discount on the order. You'll actually get an extra 10% off, which is great. Thank you, Hostinger, for that. And then you just press here, add to cart. Once the payment goes through, guys, you can just generate a root password. You can copy and paste that if you really want to. And then Hostinger will set everything up for you. Make sure to pick a yearly plan for the best possible value as well. And just to mention a few of the specs, you get 100 gigabyte of NVMe disk space, which is SSD storage, AMD EPYC performance, full root access, scalable resources, and everything else you need to run your own self-hosted NA10 instance. Now here's the really cool part. Once your VPS deploys, hosting it gives you a one shot installation template, and then bang, you can see I'm on my own hosted NA10 running on my very own VPS server. So all you do here is just set up the account, you can just run through the setup, guys. You can just put whatever here. It doesn't really matter. This is just for them. And send me a free license key, and then that will actually send you a license key. And then you have all of these templates ready to go that you want to play with, and you just literally can one-shot install all of them. And you can run these a limited amount of times. You're not limited, like on the NA10 hosted model. So if you want to try this for yourselves, guys, if you want to run automations the right way, Go to hostinger.com slash income stream surfers and remember to use the discount code surfers or income stream surfers for that extra 10% off. Huge thanks to Hostinger for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the main content. Okay, and now that you have your hosted Hostinger NA10 instance, self-hosted, oh, I'm not really sure how it works exactly. Some people say this isn't self-hosted. Some people say it is self-hosted. I'm not actually sure. I'm not an expert on these topics. You can come into your hostinger and just press manage. So you go on VPS on the side and then just press manage app right here. And you'll see that we're inside our hostinger NA10. Start from scratch, right? And then we should be able to go up here and import from URL or from JSON. Okay, so basically what I did here was I actually asked um, Claude Code to write the file to JSON, right? So we can go here, copy the file name, import from file, search here. This is a Mac. You might It might be different for Windows. should work for Windows too. And then look, bing, bang, instantly you can import this entire project and it has all of the required things that you would need, right? So let's just set this up here. Let's just set a credential real quick um, for OpenAI so that we can actually test everything. Okay, now remember, you can also, at any time, you can get go back to Claude Code, and it even gave you some suggestions, or it gave me some suggestions, right? So you could send via email, you could post to Slack, you could say to Google Docs, or you could even post to WordPress very, very easily, right? That's the really cool thing about NA10. I do actually really, really like NAN for that. So let's just press execute here. Okay, so there's a little mistake here. Get all is unknown. So it needs to actually have the um, article ID here. Okay, so the main thing I actually love about this is the iteration, right? So now we're gonna do import from file again, right? Right click here, copy relative path, paste, and then double click this. And then we import it again like that. And now it's got a different system, right? So we've connected OpenAI. This is now getting top story IDs. Let's just execute this workflow now. Okay, and then after about 10 minutes, maybe even less, we've got this entire workflow that if we tried to do ourselves, it would have taken absolutely ages. Let's see here, format output. So headline, AI news, new frontiers, the revolutionary breakthroughs and their impact on tomorrow's world, blah, 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 blah. So we actually have the article right here. This is the first article that was produced. 
and we can see where this actually came from. So summarize. Okay, and then because of the beautiful kind of way that we can use AI, this is called iteration printing, right? There was a slight mistake there where it wasn't actually receiving the information that it needed due to how kind of JSON or how inputs work on NA10. So all I have to do is come here and say, make a note of all of the mistakes you made during this process. Okay, so we have these lessons learned and then guess what we can do? We can go to the original creator or the way that I created this original um, GitHub repo. So CD NAN um, auto and then Claude dash C. And then I'm gonna say, change the Claude.md file to add these, right? And then paste that. And then just like that, when you guys go to do this, these mistakes will not happen, right? Push to um, the branch. And then if we just wait a second, we'll see that this will add and then commit and then push these changes and we'll see these coming live right here. We go to Claude.md and this won't happen to you because this has now been changed. Now, I'm probably going to be making a lot more of these videos, guys. I actually really, really enjoy NA10 and automation and things like that. And also, it's just much easier for people who just don't want to get stuck on Python, etc. And this is by far the best way to do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Check out Bright Data. Check out Hostinger. And I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.